Connor's running the winch. I'm gonna pull this pallet up here. Come on. All right, so that didn't work. We're gonna put got a snatch block on it, double our pulling force, we'll see what happens. Oh, that's All not right, gonna corner work. Corner busted out, we're trying this out. Come on. All right, go ahead. Oh, I've never seen that happen before. Okay, I'm ready to uh, come along. Keep in mind, I'm definitely a novice at this. I'm sure there's better ways to accomplish this, but this is what I had just figured out works for me. I attempted to use the wire ties, but it was all falling apart on me. It wouldn't stay together, so I just pulled out the welding machine and got it done. This is my first one. Ended up welding it together. The little ties weren't working too great for me. Got them all done. Welding was the ticket. All right, I'm setting up to pour. Some concrete, I'm trying to get my trailer dirty. Got my boxes here. So these little two by fours that are gonna be cutouts, so the forks will grab them. Uh, put some WD-40 on them. Got the mixer going. I got my supervisor and assistant supervisor. So far, what I've learned with this little mixer is before you put a bag in, fill it up, that little dimple in the middle, about flush, wash off the old concrete and start adding bags and it won't stick to the back. That's what I was having to do before is poke it with the rebar. And what I'm doing over here is just working the rebar in here to try to get all the bubbles out, get it all mixed in real good. So this is where it was sticking here in the back. I was having to knock it down with rebar to get it all mixed in. And this is an adjustment. You start vertical and start easing it down as the concrete mixes together. All right, so I had to jack the tongue of the trailer way down. And I put another support on there because there's so much weight on the tongue. Now, we're level and this should smooth out level. I didn't think about that before I started. weld plates in because um, the corner of the Connex box is going to sit on here and be welded uh, so that it doesn't slide around. So I got it scraped flush. Uh, once I put these in here, it's going to of course bulge out because I'm putting more volume in. But I came across, I've been working this to get it nice and flush. Alright, so I'm coming in around two and a half inches from the corners. This has been sitting for about an hour and a half. For an hour ish, I'm hitting my rebar here so I'll go around it. If you do it too early, like I did before, it'll uh, uh, they'll sink, so you need it set up just a touch. So now, I should be able to come go back over it like this. I got some concrete that's rolled up, fill it back in over. Still too far down. 
First time for everything. Coming apart with a box. These right here are, of course, hard to uh, get out. Got to kind of beat them out. But there's the block finished. It'll work just fine. <laughs>